welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. I'm back with another favorites video. I'm kind of clashing with my blue nails and my orange sweater, but I don't care. Spring is fully in effect and I am here for it. So let's get into this month's favorites. I have a good array of things. I actually have quite a bit of like fashion-y sort of pieces. I don't know. I have some good stuff to share with you. We're going to start with beauty as always. If you are new, I love making these videos like a wrap up of different things that I've tried throughout the month or fallen back in love with, whatever it is. And I like to share it with y'all in one place. All the links, if you're curious to check anything out, will be in the description box down below. And without further ado, I have a hair hanging, let's get into it. I feel like there are two things that drive me nuts. Something in my tooth, which I can feel, but I can't figure out where it is like your teeth don't close right, or a hair that's like in your sweater and you can't find it. I know someone has to agree with me. All right, let's start with my only skincare item. Yes, yeah, technically my only skincare item. This is the Naturium Retinaldehyde Cream Serum 0.05%. I made the switch to this, I think in the beginning of March. So I use it all of March and all of April. I love this stuff. I have dented quite a bit of it. Um, I switched over to this when I finished using... My dog just stepped over a box full of stuff to make her way to her corner. So gracefully. Anyway, I switched over from this from the Sunday Riley um, A Plus Retinol. I've been wanting to try this for a while. I heard amazing things about it. And y'all, I'm obsessed. I love it. I can't say enough good things about it. It hasn't given me any irritation. Granted, I'm pretty familiar with retinols, but this, I, I've heard the delivery system of this is like optimal. I like it. It's affordable. I got it on Amazon and I'm gonna keep using it because I notice a difference in my skin when I use this. I don't notice a difference in like fine lines and wrinkles. I notice a difference in like blackheads, I notice a difference in brightness in my face, like fading dark spots. I absolutely love this and I think this is my new favorite retinol over my Sunday Riley. And I'm super happy about it because it's like half the price, so yay for this. So if you are curious to check this out, I definitely recommend trying it out if you're looking for a new retinol. I have seen such immediate results with this. I think it's been less than two months. And can you see my freaking lashes? I swear they're thin. Like they're long, but they're not like super voluminous. So I'm hoping eventually it will become voluminous. But these things are like to the freaking sky, girl. I am, I'm super impressed with this. I tried the Babe Lash Essentials Serum. I've used lots of lash serums. I've used Grande Lash, I've used Rapid Lash. I felt like the last dose of Rapid Lash that I used before this just wasn't performing as it used to be for me. And it's also like the same price as all the other as like lash serums which it used to be cheaper um so we were we were over that I love grande lash I would go back to that but I'd heard such amazing things about this so I decided to finally try it and it's good if you do not use a lash serum and you feel like your lashes are just not there use a lash serum you have nothing to lose I swear they work if you use them consistently and once you bring them to where you want them you only have to maintain it every like week just put it on once like make it a sunday thing you don't have to spend the 60 dollars for like a three month supply every three months because you don't need it every single day once you build it to the achieved desired results but i notice a huge difference when i'm not using a lash serum versus what i am it's it's a necessity for me okay this is kind of like ironic because i'm not actually wearing it today but I fell back in love with my OPI Cajun Shrimp. This was my color last year. I think I fell in love with it. It's like a corally ready pink. I love it on the nails. I'll throw up a picture. I'm pretty sure I have a picture of me wearing it. But it's beautiful. I just don't love OPI's formula. I used to really like them. But I feel like now there's just such better formulas on the market. Like um, SE Gel Couture. Such a good good formula that this just chips on me so easily but I still love the color I'm like wanting Essie to come out with better colors honestly the gel couture line because it's so good but 
Unfortunately, this formula kind of sucks, but the color is there, but I only get about three to four days of wear, but I love painting my nails, so I don't really care that much. Uh, but I do on my nails have a new Sally Hansen Tidal Blue. It reminds me of, what was it? Pacific Tidal Wave. This is Tidal Wave. Was it Pacific Blue that Essie had that like, or not Essie, Sally Hansen had that like Insta Dry. That was my jam back in the day. I didn't see that when I was there, but this was, um, I was going in for Essie Butler, please, and came out with this. And I love it. All right, let's move into fragrances. And huge shout out to Dossier for sponsoring this portion of today's video. You guys know I love Dossier. I fell in love with them last year, and my love affair just keeps growing and growing. But honestly, I realized that I only have like woody, sagey, sandalwood, saffrony scents. I don't have fruit, floral springy sort of sense. So I hopped over to Dossier and picked up some new, three new ones and I'm so excited, did I do two and three, whatever, to share with you my thoughts and the ones that I picked out. The first one is like, so this is how they come packaged in case you're always ever wondering. This is the floral grapefruit. This is a dupe for my favorite fragrance of all time, the Chanel Otendre. Mm, I love this fragrance. I have it all the time. Like, I, I swear by this. I always have it in my collection, but no longer will I spend that money. This literally is identical. This is such, huh, such a beautiful fragrance. I'm so happy to have a much more affordable version of it. And honestly, I'm telling you, side by side, you would never know the difference. And maybe this doesn't last as long as that one, but girl, it's affordable, so spray more. Like, come on. All right, the next one I decided to try is also a floral. This is Floral Honeysuckle. This is a inspired by Gucci Bloom Eau, Eau de Parfum. This is like warm, and I smell a lot of jasmine in this but I feel like it doesn't like stay jasmine-y. I wore this the other day and I was, I was in love with it. I feel like I smell a lot of jasmine when I first put it, like smell it to my nose, but when it's like wearing on my body, I smell a lot of like the orange and the vanilla. It is gonna be such a staple scent for me this spring. And then last but not least, this is like, I feel like when I worked for Sephora, this was like the spring fragrance that everyone bought. It's the Versace Bright Crystals Eau de Parfum, but this is Dossier's Vanilla, or Fruity Magnolia. We're putting this on today. It's so fresh and fruity. I'm in love with this. I smell the pomegranate so much. So if you, like me, were looking for some spring fragrances, since you are more of like a woody, masculine, deep, dark sort of scent girl, check these ones out. I think you will like them, but if these don't float your boat, they've got tons of options. And if you do not know Dossier, they have fragrances starting at $39, and they do bundle deals. If you buy three or more, you get a good discount on them. They also do a 30-day return window, so if you're not 100% satisfied with the fragrance that you chose, they will go ahead and issue a, you a return if it didn't come with like a mini sample to try out. They also are dropping new scents all the time. So go ahead and check out the links in the description box down below if you are looking for a new fun spring fragrance. And I highly, highly recommend Floral Grapefruit and the Fruity Magnolia are my two favorites that I'm gonna be wearing all spring long. And then of course the Floral Honeysuckle is a great one as well. You can't go wrong with a little inspiration from Gucci. So you get the amazing fragrances without that big old luxury brand tax that the luxury brands tack on. So uh, huge shout out to Dossier for partnering with me on today's video. Let's move into fashion. Y'all, I have been loving bracelets and watches for a while now. And this new one that I picked up off Amazon, it's by Breda. Breda? Breda? I love this watch so much. It's really unique. The flight attendant when we were on our way to Florida, like stopped me and was like, I love your watch. I think it looks so much nicer than it is. It's not cheap by any means, but it looks nicer than it is. I think I love the like opal face on it. I love that it's um, silver and gold because I think that there are so many trends that like hype up gold, silver, or like what I feel like you should follow what like looks best on your skin tone for sure. But like, I wear obviously silver jewelry like rings, but I like gold earrings and gold bracelets. So I love to be able to mix and match, which is why I love a mixed metal watch. It's my favorite. 
They also have a blue faced one, which is oh beautiful. But I've been loving this watch. It fits so perfectly. Obviously, I had to take some like links out, but it looks kind of like an old timey watch band. But I think it is such a classic, timeless watch, and I'm I'm pretty much obsessed with it. And it doesn't look like anything else on the market. I think it's so unique. Um, and I love it. Next thing I've loved pairing with it is this Ana Luisa little pearl. They look like freshwater pearls um, bracelet. This is so dainty and beautiful. I love pearls. I think they're so classic. And I have been just like wearing Ana Luisa on repeat. Like it has been, it's been amazing. I've loved their pieces. I think they're unique. But the quality is good, but they're everyday pieces. I love them. But um, I've been loving pairing this with it. And I just, I also will throw on like a gold chain every once in a while. But these two have been on my arm all month long. But let's talk about what's been on my feet all month long. These. I, I swear they don't look that dirty, but I love these. Yes, they're kind of trendy right now, but I still think they're such a classic like style of sneaker they're flat they're like neutral colors i feel like they can be dressed up they can be dressed down i love them if you can get your hands on them they're not easy to get your hands on grab them they're so lightweight and like flexible and comfortable that i could wear these like all day long and not have any issues with them um scott when i first got them he was like ew i don't like like big branded sneakers but then when he, i was wearing them he's like oh those are really cute and i was like I told you I love the little suede toe. I just love everything about them So if you can get your hands on them, I highly recommend picking these up. I think these are perfect for like spring Outfits into summer shorts dresses jeans, whatever they're cute. what I have been sleeping in all month long If you follow me on my vlog channel cozy earth had sent over some bed sheets and pajamas for me and I had no idea how much I wanted or needed bamboo pajamas like at all like I had no idea so I was um talking to my dad's girlfriend like around Christmas and I was telling her about like my night sweats and stuff like that and she's like what kind of fabrics are you sleeping in and I was like I don't know just random things I get from Target or Amazon like I don't know and she's like well kind of look at that because that can those fabrics that aren't natural aren't breathable and you'll sweat and I was like eh, okay and then I decided to get when I ordered these and I got them in I was like why didn't you get short sleeves and shorts because um you are already sweating at night I'm not kidding you when I tell you that I do not sweat in these pajamas I also have their sheets so I don't know if that has something to do with it as well but these are bamboo, viscous bamboo, and these are so stretchy and perfect and just cozy. I live in these every single night. I wash them only about once a week. I did wash them for you guys in this video because they had toothpaste stains on them. But I look forward to putting these on every time I'm done with my shower at night. They're like so soft and so cozy and the weight of these is like perfection I'm not somebody who would splurge on pajamas like this like I'm just not but I thought these would be a good Mother's Day gift honestly if you have a mom I would definitely say that if she's somebody who doesn't splurge on pajamas obviously she, or honestly she's probably not this would make a good gift like this is something that like I wouldn't think to ask for but like that I have them now I'm like these are amazing like these are such good quality and i've washed these i mean i wash them like once a week so i've washed them like four or five times and there's no pilling and they literally say they won't pill so i'm like that's nice because they remind me of the kite baby pajamas that i used to buy for arlo and those would pill like crazy and these don't so i don't know but i'm a size small on them i was thinking i should get a medium but the way that these like the weight once it like hangs on you they don't like shrink up and they fit perfectly. I'm obsessed with them. I honestly might ask for another pair for Mother's Day. Because again, I'm not somebody who splurges on pajamas for me. Because I'm like, they're pajamas. But those are game changing. But I also am like, I only wear them to bed and I shower before bed. So it's like, oh, they're not that. They're not dirty-ish, right? I'm not sweating anymore in my bed. So clearly they're not dirty. Um, new pants alert, new jeans, N not a new style, but kind of. So these are the Abercrombie, the 90s straight ultra high rise curve love. These are their like lightest wash I think that they make, but I got these in a short so they would fit more cropped and would look cute with like cute shoes because I'm kind of, 
at that point where the regular fits me where it's like nice with high top converse but I don't love it with like regular like low top sneakers or um I don't know certain shoes I found it just to be a little different so I wanted to get them in a short and I'm obsessed I love this this color for spring I love a light wash jean I tried to get the Levi's they just didn't work for me these are just perfection does anyone else though leave the little like stitching here I always forget to take it off but I've been rocking these all freaking month long and I don't think that's gonna stop all spring and summer. All right, I guess this is kind of random, but also fashion-y, but I have to show you it because it really is a game changer. If you want crispy clothes, but they don't look like crispy, but they're crispy and they're like, especially with linen. Linen is something I wear a ton during spring and summer and I hate that it's always wrinkly. And you can iron it and it only looks good for like a little while, but if you use some starch with your linen, it looks good for a little bit longer. <laughs> this has been my favorite search for a while now. This is the Niagara Premium Smooth Finish. This is their like mid rain. It's not crispy, but it's so good. It sprays on. I, I sh I'm gonna insert a little clip because I'm gonna show you. I gotta demonstrate because I'm like, girl, you're talking about spray. Start. Oh my God, I almost grabbed the freaking iron like that. It would have been tragic. Okay. Demonstration time. Got my little Old Navy shirt. I'm gonna show you what it's like with the iron and then I'm gonna show you what it's like with the, with the spray. Okay, so what we got it's V wrinkly, right? V wrinkly. Can you see? Yeah, okay. Oh, put it on linen. Linen. You see, it's good, it's fine, right? You see how it got the big wrinkles out, but you can still see like texture. Wait a second. Do you see? Do you notice the difference? It's freaking great. It's so good, I'm telling you. You need this starch. But it's so good, I'm obsessed, and it's the only thing I do to keep my linens looking good. I have to use starch on them or else forget about it. And then, super random, but this truly has been a game changer. I, um, would drink protein powder. I would drink protein shakes every day. Um, chocolate, they were okay. Nothing to write home about. Um, I liked the ISO dynamite, ISO, ISO whatever protein. It was what Scott used. I liked it. It was fine. Wasn't anything all I craved. This I crave y'all. This is so freaking good. This was on my bucket list. <laughs> I make a wish list on my phone for even dumb things like protein powder. Cause I need to finish what I got. I already have two of these on backup. They were on sale at Target. Um, so this is the Ghost Chips Ahoy. Like there's legit cookie in here. There's Chips Ahoy cookies in there. I don't know if you can see. There's also like an information packet in there. But like, oh my God, it smells so good. I crave this protein powder. Not only do I crave it for the taste, the thickness. You know how, if you're like me, the pre-made shakes at the gym or whatever are so like thick and just good look thick thick but in a good thick this is thick in that way like I can make them at home and they taste like the bottled ones that are like four dollars at the drugstore or the gym I use this with the Fairlife um high filtered whatever 13 grams of protein milk this is so freaking good I crave it and it blends in so well with the milk but I also little fun snack that I've been having is taking one of the Oikos Pro whatever yogurt it's like 20 grams of protein taking that mixing in a scoop of this a little bit of water whip it up it gives you like a frosting kind of consistency and I use it and dip apples in it ah <sighs> it is so good and it's like 25 like 50 grams of protein for the yogurt and this, like it is next level, or like 45. It is so freaking good. I'm obsessed with that combination. 
So yeah, if you're looking for another protein powder or you just don't feel like you have enough protein in your life, try a protein powder. Odds are you're probably not unless you're like really actively thinking about it. But that is something like I crave. I look forward to it. I love it. I've never had that with any other protein powder. If you have a good protein powder, let me know. Or if you like another flavor from Ghost, they've got so many different flavors. Let me know in the comments down below. Let's end off with entertainment. I binge listen to, I'm back into my walks again now that it's not snowing and 20 below here in Illinois. I'm back, back into my walks and I've been obsessed with podcasts again. I listened to and binged Culpable season two. If you are into murder mystery sort of podcast, Culpable season one is so good. But Culpable season two is also amazing. Um, I really enjoyed it. I know it's kind of weird when you say you enjoy a murder mystery podcast, but I found enjoyment out of it. I like that sort of stuff, um, but it's really good. So if you're looking for a new podcast, check that one out and tell me, what are we listening to? What are you guys listening to for your podcast? If you like murder mystery podcasts as well, I need to know because I'm always on the hunt for new ones. I'm currently listening to, oh, I also listened to the Magnolia, Murders of Magnolia. That one was amazing but I'm currently listening to Who Killed Strawberry. Yes, Who Killed Strawberry. It was, it's out of um, Detroit, Michigan, um, mayor drama. It gives me um, Unraveled, Long Island, Unraveling in Long Island, Long Island Unraveled, whatever. It gives me those kind of vibes, but in Detroit. So that's it. Those are all my favorites that I've been loving for the month of April. Big shout out to Dossier again for partnering with me on today's video. If you haven't checked them out, do yourself a favor. Pick up some spring scents at a super affordable price. I am so happy that I found Dossier. I found them by myself. I absolutely love them. I know you guys will too. And if you are a Chanel, Entendre, whatever the heck it's called. I don't know how to say it. Seriously, floral grapefruit. What do you have to lose? You have nothing to lose. 30 day money back guarantee. Anyways, I love you guys so much. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.